January 25th, 2019, my father was admitted into the hospital. I was at work at the time and I had no idea what was going on. I only found out when my neighbor texted me and she asked, is everything okay? There's an ambulance outside of your house. Well, I instantly freaked. I didn't have my charger. I had 1% of my phone and I didn't know what to do. I ran to my car. I got an extra charger that I had in there. I stole a charging brick from one of my coworkers and I plugged in. When I had about 2% on my phone, I got another text. And this time it was from my sister. She said my father had been vomiting and that they were taking him to the hospital. I don't know what it was. I was just worried. And about 20 minutes later, I got a call from my mom and she told me, Hey, it's a heart attack. You should be here at the hospital. So I told my manager, Hey, I have to go. I have some family emergencies. No one knew who it was that was admitted into the hospital. They just said, okay, go ahead. While he was in the hospital, he had two strokes, pneumonia, a pulmonary flash, and it all just, it all stacked up. On February 7th, at about 11 a.m., my mom came up to me and she told me, hey, the nurses are calling me into the hospital. I don't know what to think. Earlier that day, he had a successful surgery. He had a tracheotomy. The point of the tracheotomy was to remove the ventilator from his mouth so he can walk around and interact and talk to us. My mom was at the hospital for a couple hours, two or three hours. She calls me at 2 a.m. as I was practicing for a competition I had the next day. And she said, hey, wake up your sister. It's not looking too good. I instantly knew how it was gonna go down. I got the call. I started mentally preparing myself for the worst case scenario. So I wake up my sister and I told her, hey, you're not driving, you just woke up. I'm driving to the hospital. When we walked out of the elevator, it was calm, quiet, and dark. I knew one of two things happened. One, he had some other kind of issue, or two, he didn't make it. The scenarios rushing through my head in that five second walk from the elevator to the seats that they were sitting on. We walk up and I see tears flowing from the faces of almost everyone sitting there. I see my brother holding tissues just bawling out. I get offered a tissue and my uncle breaks the news to us and he tells us, your father didn't make it. At the current moment, I never thought I would be in a hospital in that same situation. At 16, hearing the news he didn't make it. It was literally as if it was out of a movie scene. That's not something I expected. No one did. At the moment, I was fine. I was thinking, okay, it's fine. You know, this is just another phase. We're, we'll get through it. My mom told me I should go see him. And at, at, at the moment, I had no tears going through my face. I was, I was actually fine. And we, we walk into the room and I just see him laying there. I see a grin on his face. It's the image that is forever burned into my memory. I know what it's like to consistently see flashbacks at the hospital. Seeing him laying there with the ventilator shoved down his throat, struggling to get as much air as he possibly can. I know what it's like to see the people that you met at the hospital and flashing back to the moments you had with them there. You know, I I always wanted to be a therapist, but I decided I never wanted to deal with other people's problems. But I understand, I truly know there are people out there that actually need to hear this. There are people who are going through the same thing I am going through. There are people who have gone through the same thing that I have been through. And there will be people who are going to go through the same thing that I'm going through. I truly know what it's like to wipe away the tears with a blanket because you're too lazy to get up and get a tissue. I know the feeling that you get of congestion from crying all the time. I know the feeling that feels like you could break down any moment with anything someone says. I know what it feels like to have someone say something to get a reaction out of you. But it's times like this where you need to be the strongest you have ever been. I've never taken stress like anyone else, even in the toughest of situations. And I've said this since I was really young. People used to think I would just say this to show off, but I realized it's okay to be different. And the day after, 
my father passed away. I went to a competition. I competed. And I won. Granted, there were three people in my category and one dude didn't show up. But the fact that I went, the fact that I showed ambition, motivation, and still went to this competition, I am sure my father would be proud. I told my mom, his life ended, mine didn't. I still have my journey, I still have my path, and unfortunately, this is just a part of it. It's not easy, but it's something I have to live with for the rest of my life. I don't have a choice, I have to deal with it. Now your father, mother, brother, sister, child's life may have ended, but yours hasn't. Are you gonna sit around and be depressed or are you gonna do something? Now everyone deals with hardship in their life a little differently. And if you guys need help, I am here for you. If you want to talk to me, contact me. I'm always there. Remember, stay strong.